hi lovelies welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video if you are new here welcome today i'll be sharing with you guys this really cute simple multicolored pastel french tip acrylic nails that i did on my client of course before i get into today's video let me give a shout out to my notification squad thank you guys so much for being the first three to drop a comment on my last video and i will be premiering a lot more of my videos now because some of you guys are telling me that you're not getting my notification so this way you'll be able to see when I upload and I am here to answer any of your questions so feel free to ask them in the live chat section of this video. Finally if you are ready and excited to see how I created today's design then let's go. So because I wasn't planning on recording this set, I already went ahead, applied my tips, prep, prime, dehydrated and all that good stuff. And I'm going right in with my JC Beauty Concepts Clear Acrylic Powder. I'm also using the JC Beauty Concepts Monomer. And to apply my acrylic today, I'm using my Alpha Number 10 Oval Kalinsky Brush. Yes, I went back to my number 10 because they are out of number 12. So right now they have 10 back in stock. So catch them while they are in stock because they do not stay in stock for long. I will have my my links and coupon codes of every product that I mentioned in this video linked in my description box as well so you guys can go ahead and check that out so I'm starting off with a thin layer of my JC Beauty Concepts clear acrylic powder and I like to apply this to the natural nails personally I believe to myself that this helps to prevent lifting I have no bad experiences with it and it also helps me to file down to this thin layer whenever my client comes back and decides she no longer wants this nude acrylic and she wants to change her design sign out. After applying the clay acrylic to all the nails, I'm going to be building up the entire structure of these nails with my favorite nude acrylic powder and this is the JC Beauty Concepts Cover Blush Acrylic. Now today was really hot <laughs> when I was doing these nails as well as the acrylic was drying so fast because of the heat that my application is not the best. Like it is not the best at all so i want to show you guys that i am no way close to perfect i have my good days and i have my bad days just like everybody else and i chose to upload this video so you guys can see that your application doesn't need to be perfect you can file these nails into shape for me i like to focus on laying my acrylic more than filing but today because of this heat and the unpredictable weather that we have been having because there are hurricanes in our waters so the humidity is real so therefore I had a lot more filing to do than I would like to have or I would prefer to have but it doesn't mean that your nails are going to be jacked up in the end once you take your time and you file them back into shape and I will show you guys the filing part as well so I'm just going to continue applying this nude acrylic to all the nails because that's basically what I did I do have my acrylic liquid to powder ratio video and if you guys want you can go ahead and check that video out it is this video right here and I will link it in my description box as well as my prep video which is how to prevent lifting for any application whether it be gel or acrylic which is this video right here so they are both linked in my description box below they are beginner friendly videos if you're not starting out it is going to help you a lot for my acrylic application I'm using my usual three bead method these are short to medium length nails so therefore I will be using medium to small beads of acrylic to build these nails up and if you have watched my liquid to powder ratio video you would see exactly what I consider to be a small and medium sized bead pick up so whether I start my application at the free edge or the cuticle area it is going to be the same so on this nail I did place a bead close to my cuticle and I use the tip of my brush to work the acrylic up into the cuticle area and after that cuticle area was nice and flush I pulled the acrylic as far down the nail as it can go I went in with my second bead and placed it right where that first bead stopped and I continued to repeat the same thing by pulling with the body of my brush that acrylic as far down to the free edge of the extension as possible and I did need a small bead just to finish my application on this nail to the free edge of this extension and I blended that 
that bead back up into that second bead and then pull the excess of the acrylic off of the nail also maintaining as much as possible the shape of these nails so when it comes to finish filing at least this part wouldn't be too much of a headache on this nail I'm going to show you guys the building up of the nail starting at the free edge which is what I would usually do so starting where the natural nail and the extension meet I placed a medium sized bead there blended it to make sure there are no harsh lines in the acrylic and then pulled it as far to the free edge as possible taking another bead of acrylic and placing it right where that first bead stopped I'm going to build up the structure at the free edge of these nails and you don't want the free edge of these nails to be too thick so removing any excess acrylic is very important so when I was happy with the way that the shape is maintained and the thickness of my free edge I'm taking another medium sized bead and placing it close to the cuticle using the tip of my brush and I'm working it up into the cuticle area and then patting and pulling that acrylic down with the body of my brush to blend it back into the first two beads so I did wipe my brush and now taking my brush at a 90 degree angle I'm moving in a C motion around the cuticle area and this is also going to help seal that acrylic in yes if I see that I'm applying acrylic on a nail and it needs an extra bead I would go in with maybe another small or medium sized bead to complete the nail but that is basically it for my applications I'm going to allow you guys to continue Continue watching this part and I'll come back in when it is time to file shape and buff So let's get these babies back into shape. I'm starting out with my Makart 100 180 grit hand file and I will be starting on the 100 grit side to reshape my sidewalls and free edge. Next I'm going to be taking my extra fine ceramic drill bit and I'm going to use this to go around the cuticle area and sidewalls. I am working with my Melody Susie Sparkle Rechargeable e-file and I am working with my drill bit on about 8,000 RPMs. Now I am also using this to continue 
continue to tape in the sides of the free edge of the extension as well i am working with it at 8000 rpms because i am accustomed to working at this speed when it comes to finish filing if you wish to you can work at a lower speed or if you're more comfortable with your drill at a higher speed by all means 8000 is just my comfort zone remember 8000 rpms is 8000 rotations per minute so adding pressure to this drill bit is going to cause burning to your client's natural nails underneath the acrylic as well as rings of fire into the natural nail and damage it and we don't want that so you're being as gentle as possible with your drill even at this speed or lower speed or higher speed you do not want to add pressure to your e-file So after I file, I always make sure to turn my client's hands around so her view faces me so that way I can see if any nails are uneven, if I need to file anything else. In this case, all I needed to do was straighten up the free edge because some of them are a little bit wonky. And after doing that, I'm going to take my 99% alcohol and my dust brush and I'm going to cleanse these nails and get them ready for the nail art design. And after everything, this is what the nails look like now that they have been finished filed. So I am going to be trying out this new six piece nail art brush set by the Veronics shop. And they are so cute. The handles on these are like an iridescent sort of unicorn fielded as well as the veronique shop logo is on the barrel of the brushes and i will be using that extra long striper brush to create the french design on these nails today seeing as this is the first time using these brushes i absolutely love it they glide so beautifully on the nail for my nail art design i am using all madame glam gel polishes to draw on the french 
on these nails and I would list every single color in my description box as well so for these types of designs you want to make sure and watch the nails from all angles in this case the side of the nails are going to have more polish than the top of the nails so I start off by drawing a line where I want to see that friend shape appear at the top of the nail so you want to look at your nail from overhead first and then I go in on the sides and just fill in behind my line and it's the same thing for the free edge you want to look at that nail straight on and then draw that free edge line and fill in from the line up towards the free edge of the extension it is always going to appear thicker on the sides because of the structure of the nail however you don't want a thick line on top of the nail when you're looking head on and you also don't want to just draw on the sides of the nails because therefore when you look overhead you're not going to see any product at all it's not going to have any color it's not going to have any french lines so definitely start with that overhead view and then fill back behind the line that you have drawn and i know for me i've really and truly struggled with finding the perfect thickness of brushes and nail art brushes that work really well when it comes to actually using my gel polish or using my gel paints because I don't use acrylic paints anymore I don't use polish either and it was a struggle for me to get the perfect set of brushes tell me in the comment section below have you guys ever experienced this are you guys struggling to find really good quality nice thin nail art brushes to get those nice fine detailed lines but as of trying this one out today like to date i am actually loving the way that these veronique brushes glide on the nail once i'm using gel polish or gel paints and i love drawing with my madame glam gel polishes as you guys can see only the purple took me two coats every other color was one coat on the tip of these nails and that's why i love using madame glam gel polishes because they stay in place no i didn't flash cure these nails in between these gel polishes literally stay wherever you put them and they don't run or move and also because i buffed over the surface of these nails that there are no gridges in the acrylic in order to cause the gel polish to like spread even more so after I'm finished with the French tips, I'm going to pop her hand into the light and I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds. All the French tips are cured. I'm going to apply my Madame Glam No Wipe Gel Top Coat to all the nails. I do like to apply my top coat and then go back and remove any excess of that gel just to make sure that I continue to maintain the shape of this nail all the way through to the final step. And I'm going to pop her hand into the light and give it a full cure of 60 seconds. After her hand comes out of the light, I do allow my gel to cool down and then I go in and apply my cuticle oil. And I also left that clip in so you guys can see like how I apply my cuticle oil and all of that because I usually don't leave it in but I do make my own cuticle oils for my clients it's all natural ingredients with just a touch of sparkle you guys know you can't be be glamorous without some sparkle or some bling right and that was basically it for this set I did zoom in on the side profile of the thumbnail at the end of the video as well so you guys can get an idea as to the structure of a short to medium length nail with this length nail you do not need a lot of acrylic at all you want to make sure that you stick to the three bead method using small to medium sized beads if you guys are comfortable using the one bead method by all means do that but you also want to make sure that the structure of the nail is maintained throughout your acrylic application as well as filing so i am going to leave you guys right here to continue watching the rest of this video if you enjoyed it leave this emoji with your comments in the comment section below and if you are with me for the premiere i want to thank you guys so much i really and truly love and appreciate each and every one of you for joining in thank you guys a lot and i hope you're having an amazing day or night whatever time it is where you are right now as always i would 
love you guys stay glamorous be safe and i'll see you soon